artistic, enthusiastic, inspiring, and amazing. So one of the greatest gifts I have through the path of XPR is really understanding that the mouth is key and it's a it's an undiscovered turf that if I'm not clear on what's what I'm processing what I'm bringing in then there's a really good chance that what's going to come out is nonsense so I've had a chance to really confront the my own my own issues my own attempts to manipulate people and get them to do what I think they should do and and I've I'm not playing that game anymore and in fact I'm playing now rather than playing at and that's something I could never do I was always ready for the camera ready to put on airs because I wanted to make you think something about me and today I'm having a whole lot of fun there is a you could call it a conspiracy of ignorance and what I mean by that is we know intuitively that we are loved. We, we know that. We know that there, there's just a sense of such well-being when we can come from our heart and share naturally and, uh, and let go of our fears. So, Therefore, there is the knowing that our nature is love. But then at the same time, we don't know it. We doubt ourselves. We're afraid. We don't tell everything we really think because of this, this constant fear and control that we live, live under. So that's how I, uh, I hear it, that that's the knowledge of the self. What I'm impressed with, um, with the path of XPR is that when I first started, um, I was caught up in this illusion. I was asleep and didn't realize that I knew I was asleep. I've been studying the Bible for years. I've been reading um, uh, esoteric texts, uh, different Bibles studying different things, but I, I was missing because there was so much confusion in each one of those things. Each one of them seemed to contradict one another. And then I, was, I felt like you had to be in one camp or another, so I felt like I either had to be in this camp or I had to believe with these people, and nothing seemed to make sense to give me a full picture of everything that was as part of one. There is a quote of Victor Hugo that I really like, which is um, an idea whose time has come. Nothing can stop it. There is no army in the world powerful enough to stop an idea whose time has come. And conceiving Tina is really a dream. It's a, it's a dream that has existed in a, from the Beatles to the Greek philosophers or maybe it's the other way around, to every artist, to every scientist, to really bring forward what we could call the theory of everything, what we could call a meta-language, like a language by which we can hear the self and each other. And, uh, and, and then it ties into the awake civilization because if I hear me, then I hear you. And by having this exchange possible, then instead of seeing you as my enemy, then I can see love. I can see a person that is divine. So conceiving Tina is, is an idea whose time has come. It is not a new idea to have some form of El Dorado, some form of, of meta-society where the exchange does, are based on love and friendship and equanimity and fraternity and sorority and, and really the ideal of justice of that that is attained rather than pursued and and therefore happiness that is like the basis of all exchange communication and commerce so again that idea is not new 
but how are we going to bring forward this one language? Where is it going to come from? Where do we find it? Can there be a cosmology that aligns us all to where every separate belief system can plug in to be catalyzed as one perception that honors all diversity? That's what conceiving Tina is. It's, a, it's an idea, a conception whose time has come. And, uh, and it's here. I am the queen of sitting on the fence. I used to poll people to figure out what everyone's opinion was, and then I would, I would craft the middle path so I wouldn't offend or wouldn't call too much attention to myself, and I would never really know what I really felt. So I know about sitting on the fence, and it sucked. So when you're in enough pain and you're tired of your own BS, and no one else is going to be honest with you, but, and you don't know how to be honest with you, maybe it's the day you want to get real. And I'm telling you, it's, it's a relief, it's a gift, it's fun, it's raw, it's edgy. And, and things happen, 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 beyond words, it's awesome. That is a blessing that's being received. So I'm just sharing with you now that one of the things that XPR has done for me is it's shown me the sentience, the life in sounds, alphabets, colors, the air, the land, the matter, everything is one. Everything is a part of me. And I've even come to believe and accept that everything that's possible that can be found resides within me. Very easy to understand, very insightful, and even a novice could walk away with some really good and useful information. Make your voice heard. Well, it's really quite simple. How much more pain do you need? <laughs>